I'm currently looking for a used phone. Uh, it's pretty expensive, about $300. I have an old, older iPhone, but actually um, I'm trying to get a replacement for my wife. So this is just a little tip or advice if you're planning to spend some money on a newer phone and it costs kind of expensive. One tip is um, I don't suggest buying a used phone from someone who has very little reviews. You can see on, at least on eBay, you can see like how many reviews someone has. If you're gonna buy a used phone, try to get it from a reputable seller that has hundreds of reviews or something because I think the biggest issue is when you buy used is uh, the phone could be financed or it might be stolen or it might be, what do you call it? Uh, so there's other things. There might, there might be issues with the phone. And so um, it's a better idea because the phone can go bad like they could supposedly even like report the phone stolen later on um and so quite a few people end up buying used phones from these type of people without any uh reviews and then later on after 90 days the phone goes bad then they have a phone that's broken so uh Again, my, my advice is to buy, if you're going to buy it online, to buy it from a reputable seller. That way you have some type of recourse after, let's say, 90 days. If the IMA goes bad or if even if the phone is financed in some way, you can contact the, sell, contact the seller because you have, what do you call it, uh, the invoice. But if you buy it from someone who's not reputable, by then they probably won't even be using eBay anymore and they have your money. They don't even care what happens after that. Um, and so I, I see that a lot. Uh, it, if you're buying a newer phone that's one year or less, I, I wouldn't buy it in person. Again, this goes back to, it seems like a great deal, but um, like you can go onto Craigslist or offer up. But the biggest problem is you don't know the condition of the phone, if it's paid off or not. And so uh, unless the, the person's willing to give you a receipt, a bill of receipt f from where they purchased it originally, which m most likely no one ever does. Uh, again, uh, the safest way to get a newer phone uh, is to purchase it online from a reputable seller with hundreds of reviews. Or you can always purchase it from Amazon. But again, uh, from Amazon, you have to be careful because you can purchase it from Amazon like over here. Or uh, quite often what happens is it's a third-party seller. And so you don't notice that until you buy it. And finally you realize, like, you see over here it says other sellers over here. You click on there. You can't see their ratings or you just don't notice the ratings like over here there's only four stars actually 76 percent which isn't that great 85 percent which isn't that great 84 percent i mean it's it's okay it's it's above 50 percent but still uh again uh the whole reason why i made this video is just because uh if you purchase it, you know, in person or online, and it seems like a great deal, unless you know that person, uh, buying a newer phone is uh, pretty, pretty not that safe because, again, one, it could be finance. Two, uh, that person could possibly report it stolen in the future. Or three, it might not be their even their phone or something, and they're selling it. Or it could just be stolen in general, and so. Quite often what happens is the phone is fine for 30 or 90, 90 days and then afterwards it stops working. And so you just paid 300 to $600 for a phone that's not that great. So just a reminder.